Age finally hit my Netflix last week, and I got to dive right into it. Now, full disclosure, I did not finish the whole show. This is really going to be a review of episodes one through four. Yes, could I have been watched all ten episodes? Yes. Would I have been satisfied doing it, or 13, whatever it is? Yes, I would have loved it all. I just, I've recently discovered the... Uh, delayed gratification you know get a little bit at a time and it makes you feel better over time instead of stuff in your face all at once just yeah. saying not hating on the binge watching I, i've done plenty of it don't get me wrong eh, but delaying it out makes it feel a little bit better but let's, let's jump right into things what are my thoughts on luke cage now i traditionally would break it down into certain factors and kind of tell you if i like this or that but this is going to be more of a free-flowing just kind of a you know essay towards what i think about luke cage and I got to say, I am very, very happy. I think it fits into this Netflix Marvel world that they have created so beautifully over there at Netflix. And it really, it adds extra dimensions. Now, with if you know what I'm talking about, Daredevil is what started this all off. Then that transition with Jessica Jones. And we had Daredevil season two. Now, this is really the third property to come out. Now, with Jessica Jones, we had her and Luke Cage interacted a lot. In this show, you don't quite... I, I at least so far how I've, how far I've gotten they haven't made it quite clear where it all fits into that timeline of when he knows Jessica Jones because it doesn't feel like it's after he met Jessica Jones but it doesn't really feel like it could possibly be before you know either but who knows we're, we're they're gonna settle everything out for us I'm sure by the end of the season but I've just I've just been really really just taken away by the great casting between Luke Cage, the guy who plays his main villain, Cottonmouth, both of them are spectacular. The writing is fun and witty, and the show can stand on its own two feet without it being the superhero-heavy action show. I don't believe they really showed Luke Cage use his powers until about episode three. And that's a good long time. Maybe maybe the end of episode two. Yeah, maybe the end of episode two. But really, episode three, I mean, that's when they really first show him use his powers to do something and the show was riveting up until then so it's really it's really something that everybody thinks that superhero shows should just be about them going out there or movies or whatever it is properties of whatever going out there and punching somebody over the head going out there and using their cool laser beams going out there and doing you know flying around the sky and yes it can be really really cool when you want to do that but i think the coolest thing about superheroes and i if you watch the show you know i, I say this about x-men is about showing just the human what would a human do and this is not something that's totally uncommon for humans like what if somebody's like really really super genius or something how do they interact with the rest of the world yeah it's not the same type as a superpower but it gives you different character studies i'd feel that you can really jump into and this one takes it to another level it gives you a character in luke cage that you sympathize with that you really you, you begin to care for even before you know he can kick butt well you, we all knew he could kick butt that's why he had his own show i mean <laughs> people know who luke cage power man is but they they said they do such a good job of setting up the character and setting up his surroundings so that you don't have to rely on things like okay he can jump through this building or oh did you see it when he punched that guy through no, you just you're just riveted by the show, and I think that it's it's really nice fresh take. And I think they started that with Jessica Jones, really, um, doing the more intellectual type of superhero show because she has superpowers, but again, she doesn't use them all that often. And so I'm I'm really liking the direction the show's gone, and they they have a good sense of humor about things too. I mean, it's a Marvel property, so you know they would. Uh, like the last episode I watched, they they kind of they waited until episode four to give you a prequel which I think is cool too, because they already set up the character that you love and care about before they told you, oh, okay, this is why you should love and care about him. Um, but uh, they did the prequel and there was a really cool Easter egg in there. If, if you don't know, if you've never even glanced at any of the old, now, like I said, old Luke Cage comics, he used to have this thing, like this metal thing on his forehead, like a TR, almost like Wonder Woman. And <laughs> the call, it's kind of like Wonder Woman too, um, as part of his outfit. And he would also wear a chain around his, as like a belt. And um, I'm not spoiling anything. They do. He, for some, he pops up in that little getup as well. And he looks at himself. Oh man, I look ridiculous and starts throwing everything off. So, I mean, they, they also are very good at, at you know, winking at their, what their, what their, uh, the, the, the original properties. So mm. it's not a long review. I didn't want it to be a long review. I just want to tell you people go out and watch it. It's excellent. I actually have a friend of mine who watched it all in a 10 hour span. 
or something like that, or 12 hour, whatever it was. But he watched it all back to back to back to back to back. So that just shows you how good at least some people think it is. Now, if I was going to rate it, and I will rate it right now, I would give it a four out of five. It is solid. I can't give it a total five or a 4.5 because I've not finished it yet. So part of me not finishing it is actually holding it back. So I apologize, Luke Cage. I'll get there eventually and I'll revise my. My rating, but four out of five. Go out and watch it. If you have Netflix, you got to check it out. And if you don't have Netflix, get Netflix. It's eight dollars or ten dollars a month to stream unlimited. So it's it's definitely worth it. Trust me. But yeah, hit me up. Let me know what you thought. Did you like it as much as I did, or did you not like it quite as much as I did? Hit me up. Let me know. Comments down below, of course. At where's my face on Twitter? Google Plus, Facebook. Oh, it's a good way is getting a hold of us. But let's.